Lead me, path. Lead me to my destination. Onwards. A passing gate is a sign of progress along my path. I must admit that I rather enjoy the progress. However, it seems I am met with a new challenge at every turn. These challenges require knowledge. Slightly worrying. As a god, I consider myself all-knowing. Why is it I must stop and think? Knowledge is obscured from me. All these eyes watching makes me a bit uneasy. Not a fan of onlookers, to be honest. That which I can see exists. Ah, oh, a bench. Brilliant. Something to rest my figurative head upon from all that adventurous walking. But I must be honest with myself. As a god, I feel no real need to rest. I don't know why I made a bench. It doesn't really make sense. Maybe I should rest as an example to others. Uh, no, no, there are no others. Don't understand why I filled the place with pots, either. I don't have anything to store. Maybe I should make lemonade. I need to invent lemons first, a few other things too. Time to start a list of inventions. Lemons, a lemon press, sugar, the abstract concept of sweetness. A tongue! I definitely need a tongue, but I need a body first. Legs! I want legs! Then I can have footsteps to accompany my walking. I find myself awfully ethereal currently, even for a god. A door that opens only when watched. Yet more evidence of my centrality to this narrative. It makes me wonder what is in the next room before I enter. Is there anything? Is it simulated? Is it culled because my mind does not have the power to imagine the whole world at one instant? Oh, for the sake of sanity, I choose to believe the world around the corner exists. Wow! So many books, years of reading! But why would God have books that he's written? Then again, books written by God would be the best books. Why, why would I read books that I have?